Okay, I don't know if anyone can hear me, but guess what? I'm broke down on the middle of the interstates. Luckily, I went and got my trailer. Well, someone brought me to get my trailer. Because guess what? The F-250 let me down. Yeah, so this big thing is now broke and stuck on the side of the road. So let me uh, get it on my trailer and I'll let you know what's going on. Well, what's up everyone? Well, had a very fun, interesting night. My F-250 decided to break down on me and is now currently on a trailer being pulled by a, well, I can't show you logo on the door, but you can tell it's a Chevy. Might I say, at first I was like, oh, this Chevy drives nice. It's a 2018, you know, the new motor, supposed to be powerful. Drove fine until I put a trailer on it. Then I think my broken Ford could out pull it. I'm not lying. Pulled horrible. Had no power, no acceleration, but I didn't have to pay for it and it rescued my truck. So I can't complain. Well, back to the problem. First of all, you might be wondering what in the world kind of strapping job did you do? Well, here's the problem. Normally you strap the axles, but you can't strap the axles because the axle is no longer 100% connected to the truck. What broke on my truck, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Ah. Right there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the track bar bracket. That keeps this axle from going side to side when you turn the wheels. So, if I were strapped to the axle, this entire body could have moved like this in the front. There's a lot of weight right there. And I was afraid of that. So I strapped to the radius arms. Yeah, radius arms. They're attached to the frame and the axle to kind of hold that down. And then we ran a strap across tow hooks to kind of pull, since that's directly in front, attached to the frame by four bolts, to hold the front down in place. And I'll say this, it actually worked pretty good. So I ordered a brand new bracket. I, if this would have been any other, anything else, I would try to fix it on the side of the road, but it was structural and I had my wife with me. And we we're also on the side of the interstate. We we're on the side of I-10 in a construction area. It was a little sketchy, I'll admit, but we were able to get on trailer, get it home, it barely fits on my trailer. <laughs> it's a 20 foot trailer and yeah, it took up all of it. The tires are even low this morning. Look at that. Look at that. That's all four. So let me get this baby off the trailer and then we're gonna see if we can do some repairs. The new bracket will be here tomorrow. So maybe I can get this thing torn apart and when the bracket gets here, hurry up and put it in place and finish putting the truck together. First things first, I gotta lift the truck in the air, pull the tires off both sides and that's gonna be a job on itself. <laughs> but then once I do that, I gotta take apart all these little components right here that the shock yeah because i want to change this out that's a spacer well see the coil that's factory coil i have new coils that will replace that spacer and be one giant coil so we're going to do that since we're working on that so let me get started and uh i'll try to explain the best i can all right Let's see if I can get this to work. I had to have the big giant truck that weighs a ton. Whew. 
All right. Make sure you grab the smallest impact you can. This is very important. All right, big giant wheels are off. Now, you better look at the problem, which is this. But to get to that, which I technically could, I still want to lift it up and take those springs out. I'm under here, might as well get it all done at once. So, y'all get to watch. But first, let me jack it up, put some stands. I'm trying to be safe. Trying being the key word. I have wood. Let's see if this works. If y'all could hear me, but since I'm in gravel, I'm putting two inch thick two by tens underneath my jack stands. So instead of it sinking, it kind of disperses everything. Well, all I got is these eight foot long pieces or ten foot long. So luckily though, I can put like this and hopefully line it up, put jack stand here, jack stand there. These are six ton jack stands and not Harbor Freight. Should work. Maybe not. It'd help if the ground was more level, but... Hey. This was too easy, why would anyone watch it? Alright. And yes, I'm putting a smaller jack stand there because I don't want my axle hitting the ground quite yet. If I had two jacks, this wouldn't be an issue. But hey, it works. All right, now to actually take everything apart. I don't even know. <laughs> Sway bar. Actually, Sway bar might drop down on its own. I think I really just need to take all this little stuff off and go from there. Okay. Let's try this. I have done this before, many, many, many times ago. I hear something buzzing, so if I get stung, I warning you, I probably will jump, scream like a girl, and run. So it should be fun. And I just realized I took off the wrong bolt. <laughs> I have jack, not jack, shock extension, yes. I know traffic's fast. These are factory shocks. Well, to make them fit, I have two, two and a half inch shock extensions. I know, not the best, but at the time, these were still almost brand new, so, and they rode great. They still ride great, so, I didn't want to change out something that wasn't broke. But now looking at it, when this is all said and done, the shock is going to be way too stretched. So, plus I have 100 and almost 8,000 miles, it's time for new shocks. So, I need to find a company that has shocks for a four and a half inch lift. On plus side, 
My brake pads look amazing. You notice my drilled and slotted rotors. These are power stop, I want to say. Just on the front. I pull a lot of heavy stuff and I always wear out my front brake pads and rotors, so I decided to upgrade. I don't notice much difference in stopping ability. I stop just like I did from the factory, but they don't wear down nearly as fast, so I'm calling it a win. All right, let's see what size this is. And it is not the, one of the sizes I grabbed. So, hmm. That means I'm gonna go see what it is. Let's do this. And I just realized I can't get my impact in there. Well, I can't. If I do one thing. That should work. You know, if I wasn't using a deep socket, maybe it fit. Let's try this. You know, the chrome one, like you're not supposed to use. But, life is, well, I'm not gonna say life is too short, because it is definitely short, and I don't wanna make it short. Oh yeah. That does not work. I really would like to live somewhere where it wasn't so humid. But that's okay. This is why I need my son here. Mostly because I can make him go get stuff for me. Alright. Let me see what socket this is. At least I'll have everything together for the opposite side. You know the side I'm not recording? Now, I need to take my actual track bar off. You know, the part that's actually broken. That's gonna be the fun part. Okay, I gotta take this bolt out. Double. Okay, now we're gonna try to take the springs out while killing ourselves, well, myself. If that goes wrong and y'all are watching this, Send flowers to my wife. Who am I kidding? She doesn't want flowers. Send money. She'll appreciate that. Hmm. All right. Let's get these jack stands out the way. Okay. So, I was able to loosen the sway bar bracket and get the old coils out. This is the new coil. Hold on. Let me get the old coil to show you. Wow, there's a weight difference. Well, old coil, new coil. With the spacer. So it might be the exact same height, I'm not sure. But you can't tell. Just because this one's not as tall as this one, this one might not sag as much as this one when weight's put on it. So. I will say this, this is a lot heavier. I gotta get to this big bolt. It's a 30 millimeter socket. The bump stop's in my way. If I can get the bump stop off, maybe. Bye. Hope you had a good time. What? All right. That came off way too easy, which means it was loose. We don't have a hammer. 
big wrench works. I'll say that. I just need this thing to give up. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. But I could be wrong. I don't think I am. But I could be. Hopefully the new drop bracket comes with a new bolt. I did not check. And if it doesn't, well... That's not exactly something I could just go pick up. Plus, uh, my brakes are really on there. It'd help if I could get my hand in there to get this out. This is probably boring y'all to tears. I tell you no, know, this is gonna make in the final edit. I say edit like I know what the heck I'm doing. Cause even I get bored watching me. That might be because I already did all this once, so. But hey, who knows? Maybe I can make Maybe this would be helpful for someone wanting to lift their truck. Of course, if you can afford a truck like this, you're probably just going to pay someone to do it because these are expensive. Or you could be like me and just, because I bought a truck like this, I have no money. None. Trying to record here. Like anyone can actually hear me. The music is loud. But that's okay. I should stop filming this. <laughs> okay, you see this? These two pieces are supposed to be one. This broke off from here. So, the track bar bolts into here. This, this hole and this hole bolts up to the truck. Then this side bolts up to the truck. Well, to the truck frame, all of it. Well, this was still attached, but I guess it had a little wiggle like this. And that was causing my front end to jump violently. But it's off. I'm just waiting on a new part to get here. Everything else on the truck is put together. So let's hope it comes in today. Okay, new part came in old one it's very square it's got a lot of weld seams new part from ready lift it is a solid chunk of metal and i mean solid look at that i mean wow and that's what broke on this one right here I don't know. This one just feels stronger. Looks better, too. I don't know what was this. It's like this rough texture. This feels like it's powder coated. Hmm. A, lot di a huge difference. Okay, so now everything's put back together. Yes, I changed clothes because <laughs> I wasn't driving my truck that dirty. But everything's back together. And except for needing an alignment, I think everything worked out real good. It rides smoother, doesn't make any weird sounds, and I think it looks pretty good. said and done it was a very productive day till next time